Hello there, this is Sim Racing Corner, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this radar HUD overlay in Sim Hub. That will work with most Sim titles. Uh, for my part, I've tested this in R Factor 2, Automobilista, Assetto Corsa, Race Room, and Project Cars 2. The HUD is resizable and can be moved around the screen, just like any other Sim Hub overlay. If you've dabbled with Sim Hub's overlays, you already have a good understanding of how useful they are. And this particular custom overlay is especially useful for single screen sim racers where we have a restricted view to the sides. And using a proximity radar HUD like this eliminates the problem of unseen traffic buzzing around our blind spots, as we can now see the precise location of the other cars. And I found this a valuable aid for safely navigating close racing around corners where it's very easy to clip the other cars I can't see. So I'm sharing this with you, as I'm sure this will be useful for a lot of other sim racers out there too. Okay, let's get this guide started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is install Sim Hub. It's free and there's a download link in the description. If you're not familiar with Sim Hub, I'd recommend you check out my video review and quick start guide, as you're missing out on an amazing piece of software that does many things, of which we are only diving into a small aspect in this video. Okay, so we have Sim Hub running, and the first thing to do is on the menu on the side, go to Dash Studio, which is there, and we need to create a new dashboard. So click over here, new dashboard, and we call that the radar. So we get a new screen here. Uh, the first thing we need to do, we need to change the size of this dashboard because it's too big for us. Uh, so if you click on dashboard over here, and I've, in mine, I've gone to 250 by 250. And that's it. Uh, and then go back to the screen and we don't want a background color, we want it to be transparent. So there you go, transparent. That's all good. Next, we need to add um, uh, an ellipse or a circle. And if you go to the side, you can see this menu is over here. And uh, it's under more components. And uh, just scoot down this list. And we have uh, ellipse. Select that. And uh, if um, you can just resize it, like, you know, move it around, etc but I have some very precise measurements here and I'll explain why. Um, so if we go to uh, down here, we can see width and height and we want, the, we want this to be 245 by 245. And we just center it. Yeah, so it's just a little bit smaller than the actual dashboard, um, the dashboard here, which is 250 by 250. And we just, uh, Move it around, you can just move around the cursors a little bit just to center it. Um, so for mine, I've chosen uh, the lips color. I wanted a red border, uh, but you can obviously choose whatever color you like. Uh, yeah, I liked the, maybe the dark red one, that looks a little bit more classy. And the fill color, um, I don't want it to be transparent. I had that as uh, black. Uh, but I, I wanted to have a little bit of uh, transparency, uh, so I've, if under here we can change the opacity, and I've picked 50. So yeah, so, so we see a bit of the kind of game in the background, but you can change that to whatever you want. You can have a solid color or change the colors, whatever you like. And that basically completes the background for the radar. Uh, on top of that, we now need to put on the actual uh, uh, the HUD element, which is under uh, more components again, and that is the visual radar. So click on that, and you can see it'll just uh, it'll just pop a small window here. And again, we need to resize this to put that into place. Uh, but I, um, one thing I've done, I got some kind of some sort of weird um, dimensions here. So and so my dimensions are. 220 by 228. Okay, so you can see it's smaller than this, but there's a particular reason for this. Uh, so if we go to 
border style, we also want to change that to 250 because it's currently square and we want it to be within that circle. So we change that to that. And if we change background color, you can just see what I've done here. So we just change it to any arbitrary color here. And you can see that's now a circle. So everything that's uh, gonna be rendered within the uh, radar will just be nice and clearly shown within our background uh, radar there, our kind of little screen. Um, but and the reason why I've made this kind of strange size and haven't made hasn't I haven't kind of resized it exactly the same as this circle is because uh, one thing it, what it does do which is kind of odd is um, your actual car which should be centered is offset um, it's offset in a weird position so if we just use this and centered it here you would see your car is going to be it's going to be like around rounds just like a, a, set, a half centimeter off and it's quite annoying it doesn't really matter but it's one of those things you want it to be centered so that's why i've set it like this and and you can see if i if i offset it there that is actually now center of the radar when it's uh, on in the game so it's kind of a weirdness but uh, you'll see it yourself if you if you center it and kind of do it this way you'll see it's offset and this is why uh, this is why um I've said it like this, and you can always adjust it later on. And I'll show you how to re-edit this once you've uh, saved it as an overlay, because um, you may need to come back and kind of tweak this, because it's fairly normal to kind of tweak it to try and get these alignments correct. Um, so you can see that's how that's set. Uh, but I don't. I want to get rid of this background color, so that will be transparent again. Um, and just save that. And essentially, that is it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, so we're going to move on to the next stage and we need to turn this into a uh, into an overlay. So now we've saved that, we can now close this and our radar should appear somewhere over here. <laughs> Where has it gone? Oh, there it is, it's down here. Excellent. Over here, over more, click that and select convert to overlay and it should disappear it's disappeared from the dashboards so don't worry it's not uh, it's not broken it's now over over here under overlays so click on overlays and uh, ignore that one that was an earlier test uh, from uh, messing around and so yeah so it's now an, an overlay which means it will work in a game uh, but to make this work we uh, click new overlay and this brings up the overlay editor. We'll just move this into to a position where we might want it. And you can see uh, if we just move it around. So this is where it appear. If I move it around here, this is where it appear in game. Uh, but this is this is kind of where I've picked it because my wheel is around here. My real wheel is around here, and I can just glance over, and that's how I like it. So you know, you might want it on the right. I kind of want it on the left, and. Uh, a bit of size which uh, is nice and convenient for me so about there i can always change this when i'm in game anyway but yeah we just put it there so over here um it's not kind of going to be work straight away yet we need to do if you do stop edit well it will allow you to uh it will now work in game but you can see that we can just turn it off and on um don't close this because if you close this it will actually won't work so just minimize it launch your game and this overlay will now appear in game it's really as simple as that okay this is our factor two i'm sitting at the start line the game is just paused you can see the radar hud is working um one thing i didn't say earlier but it does mention this in sim hub under the overlays uh, that you must run your game in windowed mode otherwise the hud will not be able to run in the foreground so make sure if you don't, if you don't see the hud in your game just check in the graphic settings, change the windowed mode, and your HUD will appear. Uh, so at this point, I want to show you how to adjust the HUD uh, while sitting in the car, because it means you can just adjust it on the fly and get the position and size correct. Uh, just Alt-Tab, so Alt-Tab on your keyboard, and we go to the overlay here, and uh, get the mouse into view, mouse pointer, and we just click Edit Layout, and you can see we can now move it around. And resize it to whatever you like, get the position right, and you then stop edit. 
and minimize it to get it out of the way. And then you can go ahead. Uh, the other thing I was going to show you is um, if you want to say tweak this uh, this HUD, the design of it, because maybe it's, it's not quite what you want, you can also do that well in game as well. Uh, so if something you need to kind of change a little feature of it, change the colors, etc., anything else. Um, if we alt tab and go to uh, there you go, SimHub. Go to More and Edit Dashboard. And you can see that is our dashboard, which is there, the HUD. And if we move anything around, let's say if we, uh, so if we do that and save it, you can see it's all kind of askew there. And if we want to get it right, you can just do your tweaks. Save it and there you go, get it all sorted out that way. And of course you can do all the other sort of things, you can play around with the colors, etc. Um, if you want a different uh, background, or etc. Uh, save that. There you go, completely different. So yeah, you can, you can mess around with it on the fly and get something that you like. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I think um, that covers it. I don't think there's any more to show you here. I think, uh, that's cool, and we're, so we we'll move on to the outro. And a final look at our custom radar HUD in action as we finish things off here. I hope you found this guide useful, and if you did, please hit the like to support my channel. Um, it would be very much appreciated, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And it just leaves me to say thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos, I'll be back very soon. Uh, so happy simming out there, take care, and bye bye for now.